College at Oakland University is one of the most established honors colleges in the nation. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Dean of the Honors College for Oakland University, Dr. Graham Harper. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. What is the difference between an honors college and going to college and taking an honors program or honors classes? There is a difference. I mean, the honors college tends to be a community of scholars, a community of people that are working at a higher level academically and getting involved in service and so forth. An honors program tends to be somewhere, something where people add an extra paper in, in a class or add an extra portion. So college tends to be a community of scholars community of people as I say that that's the college ideal and then what's the criteria I know it's not a certain GPA or a certain score on your ACT but there must be something more to it than perhaps uh, getting admitted admitted just to Oakland U well, the GPA and the ACT are important. I mean, most of the students at Oakland will come in above a 3.7 GPA and a 27 ACT. Uh, about 50% come in above a 3.9 GPA and a 31 ACT, so very, very strong academically. But the Honours College and the Honours Ideal, as I say, goes beyond that. We want to look at the person, really look at the individual, and look at what we can do to build on those academic strengths to have things connected with community and so on. So research. who would be your your perfect candidate or who what type of student would be thinking gosh I should really be looking at a program like right, this. Right right well here's the thing it's, it's kind of interesting there is no one s sort of honors college student you know some people will think oh these kids are very well, geekish if you like you know they're very bookish no that's not true you know, every kind of student um, can be in an honors college. So we have essentially students that think the college experience is going to be something in which I'm going to excel and I'd like to get supported to do that. That's essentially what, what the student will be like that comes into the honors college. So maybe the classes aren't necessarily a, a lot different but the, the the folks you're surrounding yourself with, the, the like-minded students are all sort of collaborating and, and working together. Is that the difference? It is, it is. And those classes will be smaller. So we will not have a class above 20. We cap the classes at 20. The professors will send us ideas for classes that they really want to do. So classes that they couldn't perhaps do with a big group, they'll send us a proposal for it and we can accept or reject that proposal so we can be selective. Um, students can ask for classes, you know, say that they have a particular topic or area they'd like to investigate. So there's a fair bit of flexibility and then I would imagine uh, other colleges have honors colleges within them, but what makes the one at Oakland University uh, unique? It's kind of interesting that we've got a history that links back to honors. I mean, Oakland was founded with honors college students. The first time ever, honors college students had the chance to say what a curriculum would look like. Mm -hmm. And that was for the whole institution. And then Oakland University itself uh, built on that. And in 1977, Oakland created Honors College within that. So we've got a really nice history that links back to, to our past. Um, that ideal is there in the whole of the campus, not just in the Honors College. So I think it gives us an opportunity to work uh, between our own ideals and the campus ideals overall. You mentioned that they have a say, sometimes students uh, in what might be offered as far as classes, that type of thing. Are there a variety of programs? Are there spe as a specific emphasis, Honors College mostly focuses on this and this, or what uh, particular maybe major uh, right. might be the most suitable for the Honors College. Well, you know what, as I say, there are all kinds of students, but we have about 30%, 35% every year that are coming in with some kind of pre-med interest, some kind of medical interest. We have about 20% that will come in with some kind of engineering interest. And then the other 50% is literally every kind of student. So what we tend to focus on is uh, the general education requirements and giving them opportunities in those small classes with their general education requirements, and then picking certain portions in the majors that we can emphasize as honors level courses. And and that is for everybody. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Sounds like a, a wonderful opportunity. And uh, I know those students uh, head back to fall uh, classes just right now. Thank you. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Dr. Graham Harper, the Dean of the Honors College at Oakland University.